This is the equation of time. This simple curve is the product of centuries of human endeavor. It combines our knowledge about the orbital geometry of our planet with our perception of time. The moving shadow cast by a standing stone is a primitive timekeeper. The passing of time revealed in the shadow's motion. Early civilizations transformed these simple devices into sundials. Precision devices displaying time as a shadow moving against a carefully designed dial. The appearance of sundials represents a milestone in the evolution of human knowledge. The science behind a sundial is complex. A horizontal sundial must be aligned with the Earth's axes and the hour lines arranged according to latitude. But this is only part of the story. If you have a sundial in your community and you have been monitoring it throughout the year, you may have noticed that it does not always agree with your watch. Clock time and sundial time do not always agree. Let's investigate this. This sculpture behind me is a functioning sundial. It's located on the shores of the Ottawa River in Pembroke, Ontario. This is the portage sundial. The iron silhouette represents a voyageur carrying a canoe. The wood beams are the hour lines. The keel of the canoe casts a shadow, indicating the time on the dial. The canoe is the gnomon of this sundial, and the keel, the edge that is casting the shadow, is called the style. I'm checking the sundial on September 13th. The shadow cast by the keel indicates it is currently 10 a.m. standard time. But my watch disagrees. It indicates 9.56. The sundial is four minutes ahead of my watch. The equation of time is designed to predict and allow us to correct discrepancies between clock time and sundial time. Here's how you do this. This is the equation of time with dates displayed along the horizontal axes and time correction displayed on the vertical axes. When the curve is above the blue center line, the sundial is running fast. When below, it is running slow. First, we will find our date, September 13th. Then move vertically to intersect the curve. Moving across to the time correction scale, we see that the equation of time tells us that sundials are running four minutes fast on this date. Studying the equation, we can see that there are four dates when clock time and sundial time coincide. We can also see that the sundial is running 16 minutes fast in early November and 14 minutes slow in mid-February. These corrections apply in all parts of the world. If you have a sundial, you can use the equation of time to correct sundial time to correspond with clock time. The reasons for this discrepancy between clock time and sundial time are complex. The main motion moving the shadow on a sundial is the Earth's daily rotation on its axes. It turns out there are two other issues that affect the movement of the shadow. The first one is the fact that the Earth's orbit around the Sun is elliptical, not circular. This means the Earth orbits faster when close to the Sun, slower when far away. This causes the apparent motion of the Sun to change speed throughout the year. The second issue is more complex and occurs as a result of the tilt of the Earth's rotation with respect to its orbit. The complex geometry of this causes the rate of the horizontal motion of the Sun to vary throughout the year. Mathematically combining these two effects results in the equation of time. Learn more about sundials by constructing one. You'll find a number of excellent sundial related resources on the internet. For more science related videos and projects, visit our website, hyloroad.com.